Hey guys, time for another video of my aquarium or aquariums, and I usually focus on Ashley, the spotted Congo pufferfish. There's Ashley there, um, lurking slowly as always. Um, so, funny thing is, I have been calling the clown loach yo yo loach. Um, sad part, um, one of the yo yo loach passed. Um, noticed it probably was Tuesday, maybe Wednesday, Thursday. So I went back to the pet store and they tested my water and everything. Everything seems to be fine. But I did notice that one, that, that clown loach was uh, a bit pale when I took it home. Um, so traded in for these garamis here. I can't remember what they are. I believe they're like honey garami. Um, so I'm trying to focus to focus this tank to be just snail eaters besides the two platies that, is, that I have here, the green lantern platies. Um, so far so good. They're going through um, the clown loaches loving the snails. Um, they're helping each other eat them. So I have been going in here almost every day just trying to clean up the mess they have made. Um, I hate that I can't go this area just because this is what happens when you buy used tanks and I have tried my best to clean whatever this is. Um, I don't know if it's from the inside or the outside but it seems like it's the inside. So I'll have to probably drain it, um, turn it around so that way this is going to be the back. Um, but that's going to be another project later on. Um, just want them to get used to this tank. I don't want to keep moving them around. It's only been, what, a week or two? Not even two weeks. But yeah, Ashley's doing great. Um, there she, there's Ashley. I don't know if it's a boy or girl, so we just named her Ashley. Named it Ashley. God, this is so bad. Anyways, um, finally put some, you know, some moss in there. I'm probably going to be putting more plants um, they are expensive so I don't want to keep dousing it with plants in here and plus I have other tanks and I can probably just get some clippings from my other tanks too um, but I need to put more substrate in here so for it to the plant for it to stay put um, I just put the sand in there I just put a I believe 10, 10 pounds maybe 5 pounds even um, of black sand so I'll go around later on and you know fix it as in make that side the back and add more sand and whatnot later on probably within another two weeks maybe a week just want them to get acclimated on the water um, but yeah let's see if the um, crayfishes are out um, the pregnant one actually made its own little home in this area so it's a lot of pebbles here. It used to be all in there, but literally dug itself a, uh, a little home there. I can see it with my naked eyes, but you cannot with this camera. Um, I'm not saying my camera sucks. I hope not. It's a Samsung Note 10 um, Plus. But anyways, the other one is on this side, and it was out earlier. Um, oh, there it is. Let's see if I can get them out. Um, I know that it's been munching on my assassin snails that I put in here. Not good because I need to get all the snails out that I used to feed the puffer fish in here. Um, angel fish getting bigger and bigger every day. Um, I'm sure he is kind of pissed that I no longer put snails in here. But there's plenty in here. Trust me, and there's a lot under this log, this fake log that I have. When I flipped it over, I picked off a lot. Um, I didn't even get to pick all of them out, so I figured I'd leave it there. There's the uh, peacock eel. Also getting pretty big. It used to not be that big. Um, so everybody's super healthy here. Um... What I want to show you guys is actually another puffer fish that I ended up adopting a couple days ago. Uh, we drove, I want to say, an hour 15 to an hour and a half to come grab this dude. Um, it's a 
humpback slash dragon puffer fish. So I'm gonna slowly turn around here. Now, be nice, it's in a bear tank. Very bare. Um, so it's in a 40 gallon tank right now. Let's see if I can find him. And excuse the background of the dental sticks for my puppies. Anyways, um, it's actually inside the skull right now. Um, I'm probably gonna go in here and start making him come out. Let's see here. So anyways, um, as you can see, no substrate at the moment. I do have a couple plants in here, some mosses and a driftwood. Um, it usually hang out, hangs out around underneath this driftwood here. Um, I did put some um, almond leaves, um, but I don't think I put enough to make the water brownish. Um, but yeah, um, one second here, let me see if I can get them out. I'm just gonna pause the video, move the skull so you guys can see the puffer fish. All right, move the skull. Um, here it is, uh, from what I was told, it's a boy. Um, the lady had it, when I tested the water, not the water, the temperature of the water, um, it was at 67. Um, but she told me that she usually have the water between um, 69 to 72. Um, from what I remember, these guys usually live between 75 to 80 or 75 or higher. Um, so the lady that owned this, um, her tank sprung a leak, uh, sprung a leak on for this puffer fish, and she told me that she didn't want to invest more money for another tank just because they are mighty expensive. Um, the sad part is she had a Mabu, my, I'm, I'm not even saying that right, Mabu puffer fish that she just got not too long ago, I think I believe about a week ago or so. And she usually goes to the same pet store that I go to. And I remember that Mabu puffer fish because I've been eyeing it. Uh, it's been in that fish store for since March before the quarantine started um, it passed just because she her ammonia spiked and the heater broke along with her filter I don't know what happened um, I'm guessing power outage or circuit a circuit blue I, I don't know but there he is pretty plain um, it's pretty dirty this is the uh, result of him being in his tank for less than 48 hours. Um, the lady used to feed him crayfish. Um, she says she would go down the river and catch them and feed them. Uh, feed it to the puffer fish. I'm not going to do that. Never ever. Um, so I decided to put some snails. And it looks like he's eating it just fine. Um, gave it some um, guppies uh, or those mollies that I had that um, my Melmesh uh gave birth to. He ate some of that too. Very interesting in how he hunts for food. Um, washed it one time and I was I was hooked. So I'm probably gonna go and, go and feed him pretty soon here before I leave. But I figured I'll show you guys the humpback slash dragon puffer fish um one update on my roommate's tank he has moved the um beta fish and i'm very surprised it's still alive um i did tell him he shouldn't have put it there but he didn't listen can't control how a person set up their tank because it is their tank i noticed the dinosaur bashir has been a little bit more aggressive and i really think it's the tiger barbs and the um the um, the dinosaur bashir and it's not the uh, red tail shark that's attacking it's the tiger barb because I witnessed it myself that's been attacking the the, the beta and I also noticed that the, one of the tiger barbs tail is nipped out so he went ahead and removed the um, the beta and put it in a 55 uh, in a five gallon tank so yeah I'll probably record it pretty soon here show you guys that tank um, I did he I believe he added another rock in there so there's more hiding spots 
anyways, that's it for today. Figured I'll show you guys a new edition of the family. Um, we haven't named it yet. I'll probably go ask the fiance what to name the, uh, the pufferfish. Alright guys, talk to you guys later.